So the question we're answering today is, what is the inflection point of f of x equals e to the 1 minus x squared? To do inflection points, you need to take two derivatives. Recall that your first derivative is going to give you information about increasing or decreasing, and your second derivative is going to give you information about concavity up or concavity down, and the inflection point is the change from one to the other. This is going to require two rules. One, the chain rule. And two, the product rule for this derivative. All right, now taking the derivatives of exponentials is the easiest thing on the planet because you take the derivative of the exponent part of it and then multiply it by the original equation. The derivative of 1 minus 2x is simply negative 2x. If you can't see why this is, you should go and review your derivatives of polynomials. So the derivative for this whole equation then is negative 2x e to the 1 minus 2x. Derivative of the exponential times the original. And that's of course is the chain rule right there. Now to take the second derivative, we're going to have to do a product rule because we now have two different functions. Um, product rule is DAB plus DBA. Oh, I like to remember it. So we're going to call this our A here. The derivative of negative 2x is negative 2 multiplying by our b, which is unchanged because we're not taking the derivative of it. And now we add that to the derivative of the e to the 1 minus 2x, which we found already. It's negative 2x e to the 1 minus 2x. And then we multiply it by our underived a, which is negative 2x. These are common terms, so we can multiply them together. Negative 2e to the 1 minus 2x plus 4x squared e to the 1 minus 2x. Now, to find our critical points, we set everything equal to 0. And we can see right away that a 2e to the 1 minus 2x will divide out of this equation. So that will make things simpler for us. Negative 1 plus 2x squared. Solve for x. Plus 1 half. Square root that and you have x equals the square root of one half as a critical point. Now, to be very, very rigorous, you actually need to take a range, negative infinity up to the square root of one half, and then square root of one half up to positive infinity. You need to take a test point in each one of these, say negative 1 and 1 for an example, plug it into the equation to see what your concavity is. Now, I know because I worked this out before that this is the inflection point at the square root of 1 half. But to be safe, you should check it for yourself. I hope this lecture was useful. Check out more at our website, www.freeacademy.com, with the dash between the free and academy. Thank you.